you get knocked down and you get broken open, that's when you really get to know your true self. Suffering is awesome. You know, you get knocked down and split in half. You stand, you walk out in the world. If you choose, you have a choice. You can contract and become bitter and never open up again, like most people, or you can actually use the tragedy or suffering or whatever you've gone through to allow it to purify you. Tragedy and pain is life's greatest purifier. Holding the line, maintaining the standard, giving no slack, none. That's the discipline. What's God? God is that which calls you to make the appropriate sacrifices and calls you on it when you don't. And try to escape that and see what happens. We know perfectly well, perfectly well, that that's a pathway to hell. And you might say, I don't believe in hell. And I would say, that means you don't know anything. Do you abide by that or not? Well, you do if you're wise and you do if you care about the people around you. You got to be willing to do the work. You can speak about it all day. The easiest thing in the world to do is to complain, blame, and quit and settle. That's the easiest thing in the world to do. But it takes real work to deconstruct and to reconstruct the thought process and the mindset of an individual when they're trying to change something. That's why I always say to people, what's more important, what we acquire or who we become? Right? What's more important, what we acquire or who we become? Materialistic, superficial, it's cool. But the people that we become, the thoughts we think, the words we speak, that's something that's going to travel with us forever. Are you a leader? Are you ready to become one? Are you willing to step up to the plate and become that person that everyone can follow into battle and trust that you won't run, you won't turn back your back, you won't hide when the rocks get thrown, but you will step in front of everyone else to protect them because you don't sit on the throne. Let the process do what the process does. The process is there for a reason. The process is there to strengthen you and build you. The process teaches you things along the journey that no skipping steps could have taught you, that no faking it till you make it could have taught you, that no overnight success could have taught you. The journey isn't always beautiful, but the journey is always purposeful. So start telling yourself, this is a part of the process. We are absolutely divine, magnificent expressions of life, all of us. Where each face is another unique expression of God. And we're not supposed to be alike. Since time began on this planet, there have not been two snowflakes alike. There have certainly not been two people alike. And we're always trying to be like everybody else so we're acceptable. Our uniqueness is what makes us wonderful.